that's the other funny thing about this game is uh, a lot of people get like a just get a few wins. Better to have at least like close to ten before they uh, before they before they're ready to argue. <laughs> Because that means that you've won a few times, but oh man, what is this level? Two headed ogre. Alright. We're going into bat. Yeah, then we're starting to see more two headed ogres. Uh. Man, can I get a break? All right, well, you win, Mr. Ogre. You were the anti-hex ogre. So I could go ahead and, what was this one? Oh, we got thunder. That's a good thunder. Oh, no, I was just saying that it's it's a phenomenon with this game where, like, somebody gets a few wins and, and there's somebody with, like, 100, you know, and has greater player, and they'll start giving advice. And, oh, Shaft for three floors. Very nice. Well, now we're going to get some of that late dungeon action. Now I'm going to magic map, and we'll head back up. Now, I don't want to take a Shaft, or a Hatch, I should say. So we'll, we just want to take this carefully. I have excellent stealth, that's great. I can dig my way past, so we're just going to want to avoid um, bad stuff and take it easy. Uh, this, this gargoyle is not an amazing friend to have chasing us. Um, That's good. Excellent. We're gonna stab. Damn. My stab against him is not good. Right, we're gonna have to. There we go. Let's rest this up. No needs, needs uh, reason to panic. I just I wasn't stabbing him very effectively. His AC is pretty good. His uh, stone arrow is the scary part about him. But his MR is not that great, so. All right, so this is going to be our ticket up. I could take the door. It's probably pretty sensible, yeah. Okay, so we're one level back up. Now, we don't have another magic map. If I did, I would actually, I would definitely use it. Because don't save your magic map just because you're like, oh, what if I get a portal and I want to have one? Just what's more important, the portal or you being alive? Yeah, I just I'm sort of commenting about the general mentality. It's like people people are quick to be offer contrarian advice based on their experience of like not playing particularly well or necessarily knowing all the ins and outs and, and whatnot. We got acquirement. I mean some people naturally play very carefully right away. And those players, you know, relatively or just like really are really careful and um and uh, so it just it just varies, but uh, it's it's not uncommon to see somebody who just has a few wins and they just start arguing with everybody. And it's always kind of funny when it happens. It's easy to form pretty strong opinions because you go through a lot of struggle just to win in this game. So it starts to feel like, man, I've, I've been through it. I've learned it. I know it. Skull of Acquirement. What about people who are terrible in post on Reddit? Collected tons of runes. There's our acquirement pole. I guess we haven't gotten out of the uh, frying pan. So yeah, head over there and uh, vote if you like. Oh yeah, Tumalu, but that uh, that can be very deceptive. Reading reading facts online versus actually playing play experience is really invaluable. You know, and obviously you have played because you've got you know like six wins or whatever. But 
you have to hear some opinions from some really good players, and they are not all going to agree with each other. To be, to be clear, there are people with, you know, uh, nice streaks and everything, and they they don't agree necessarily. But um, there is so much uh, player experience with this game, and people have been playing it at a very high level for many years. So it, it can be uh, it can be deceptive how much you may think you know about it, because this is actually a, re a pretty complicated game. There's all sorts of weird stuff happening under the hood. Yeah, acquire a weapon, right? That's pretty good. Acquire food, one vote. Well, well, well. Aren't we funny? Okay, I'm going to... I haven't finished my coffee. I'm going to go reheat my coffee. And I'll be back in just a minute, so you can get in more food acquirement votes. He thought you were funny. It was very funny, Lustful. I, I, uh, I expected it, so it was funny. It was a funny joke that I fully expected, but I still appreciate it all the same. All right, I'll be back in just a minute or two. I'm going to reheat my drink. And we're back. Coffee too hot. Overheated. Does not compute. Yeah, the wiki, uh, the, tra the challenge with the wiki is one, it often is out of date. It has gotten sort of slowly better at that over the years, but it, it frequently does get out of date still. And also the thing that to keep in mind is that the wiki targets 021. The trunk pages are never really updated until after the release. It takes a long time for... Some entries do have like um, stuff in the history section about what's going on in trunk and like a new trunk thing might get its own page, but uh, LearnDB is usually more up to date for that. So if, you, if there's any chance that it's changed, you kind of want to check both if it's important to you. And yeah, I would second what Scappa said, uh, <clears throat> is that uh, strategic advice is it's not unimportant, but this is very much a game about tactics. You can do all sorts of uh, crazy stuff in this game if your tactics are good. Not to say that there's not like a strategy that is more ideal, there, that there isn't one, because there, there usually is a strategy that's pretty clearly the better one, but uh, tactics will carry you if, you if you have those down. So people struggling with mages, often that's kind of... They need to uh, think about their tactics a little bit more carefully and just kind of slow down. It, they're time intensive and sort of attention. Really, armor? I haven't even tried on my robe, guys. Okay, you know what? Well, let's get back to D12 before I read this scroll. Oh, look at this. Ooh. That's a little scary, rock, rock to the face. What's, um, that is not good. Okay. 
Actually, I'm going to use Serpent Slash. Oh yeah. There we go. Good stuff. That was a good use. That was good because I did not want to take a large rock to the face. My positioning was good. I could have... I moved one step forward and he woke up, so I still could have taken one, but... Oh, you would do that, wouldn't you? Alright, well now we're back to... Wait, I'm on D12. I wanted to be on T11. I guess I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, aren't I? There's our magic map. We, we still have one more level to go back up. Well, that's down. But down is not up. Down is down. There is our, what was it? Spellcasting. Troll armor. No, not going to wear troll armor. I am a Spen, I will prefer a robe over troll armor, because uh, I will just lose stealth, and spellcasting abilities like eh, but I don't like, um... yeah I do have an artifact robe and I want to try that on, I want to get back to D11 first. What are we doing next? Maybe some hexes, probably some short blades. Oh, I guess short blades don't actually need a lot. Let's um, let's take 12 for this. We are already at a. Okay, we are not quite at Mindelay, but yeah, eventually. But hexes are really cheap right now, so I'll go go for that. Mikey would probably prefer I, I train dodging, but you know what? Mikey, you're not here. You're not even seeing this, Mikey. Nothing you can do. Sorry. Unless he, wa unless he sees this from IRC and then he shows up. That could happen. It's happened once. As long as nobody tells Mikey, as long as he doesn't see it. I'll inscribe... Okay, this... <laughs> I'll, I'll find a slaying ring and I'll inscribe it in his honor. And the world will... He will never be the wiser. Okay, what about the up... I'm just sort of exploring right now. Got a haste spot. Komodo. Okay, so Komodo is scary. I'm not really <laughs> really having a hard time with Inch and Sorcel uh, with EH right now. Inscribe a ring? Uh, yes, I will, Lustful. I will. That's not a fair trade for you, because that's like $5 monthly, but I will absolutely... Because you asked nicely. Anybody who, anybody who subscribes during the stream gets, gets, a, gets an equipment inscription that I will carry through the run. Okay. This guy's not exactly a threat, but... Battle axe, huh? Oh. Why don't you battle this? Mr. Orc. Oh crap. Yeah, this is what we were talking about with, uh... With, uh, D12. I guess I'm fully exploring D12. Completely, uh... Ignoring my previous advice of not exploring D12. <laughs> Cursed. Appreciates the heavy metal. This is a remix... ooh. That's a scary monster. Oh. I 
actually I... Can drop that, can drop the sling bullets, and the stones. Yeah, Secret of Monkey Island Heavy Metal Remix. It's not something I ever thought I would I would listen to, but it's 2018 and here we are. I wonder if Iggy ever got his power back on. Rip Komodo Dragon. Oh boy. Um, okay. Well, I took the stab. Could have been bad. He could have not died to the stab. Yeah, speaking of nasty stuff that can show up on D, on D12, I think we've seen a good uh, selection of that. Okay, this is not the ideal upstairs to take. Reason why I don't want to take this upstairs is because if I have to come back down and if I pull something with me, um, I'll be uh, cornered. Now I can dig out and like blink and stuff, but. Yeah, the problem isn't that. The problem is that if I... There's two things that can happen. One, I could have moved one tile and it would have woken up. I'm not sure if it would have gotten an action on that turn. I think it could have gotten an action, actually. So that happens and then it bites me and then, like, I don't have all that much EV and then most of them hit and I could be at very low HP. The odds of it actually killing me are extremely low, but it would, it's eight heads, so. The other thing is I stab it and I miss, which can happen, and then same thing happens, or I stab it and I don't fully kill it, and then the same thing can happen. So three different kind of situations where it could, um, it could hit me, but you know, I felt like, hey, why not? I did have a blink scroll. I have four blink scrolls, so I'm probably not gonna die, but. Boy, look at these upstairs. This one, all of them, every single one, terrible. All right, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. And now we're back. See? All right, now we can try out this robe. Plus five robe, MR, and Dex. That is, ladies and gentlemen, a very nice robe. Dig, a, dig escape, that is true. You absolutely could, because it would save you a turn. But let's be honest, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm, t I'm like, the dig charge is kind of precious, and although, to be fair, what would even be my play? I would have to blink here, and I wouldn't actually be saved. This stair is actually quite bad. In that sense, this stair is actually... If I literally had to blink, this stair would actually be better, but... I, I mean, if I found something truly nasty, I might not even try to go back down anyhow. I might just blink. It depends on the situation. More, more ugly things. Yep, I know. I'm, I'm thinking about that acquire still. I guess... Hey, Jay Boons, what's up? I guess we should see. What did we get? We got two for armor, which... I don't know, I just got this really nice robe. I could still get good armor. I mean, I do have a nice dagger, but I am looking for a good weapon. I will cast my vote for weapon as the player, as the tiebreaker. Power back, there's the update. That's good to hear. Power outage, you suck. We, we haven't had a power outage at this place for... You know, I don't think I've had one at this apartment complex. The one I was at previously did have one once, but it wasn't too bad actually. No, it had a couple of them, but they were short. They were really they were really brief. You vote for gold. I don't have anything to buy. I have no shops. You voted for weapon, that's what so what I was gonna do is cast my vote. Cast my vote for Oh, look at that. Oh, see, now I cast my vote for weapon. I was going to do this gambit where I, like, do the vote and I and I put Zom's name in and say if it votes, if it rolls for Zom, that's like I voted for weapon. You know that whole bit. But now I don't even have to do that because 
now weapon has two votes and I can cast my vote for weapon truthfully I do have a very good weapon right now and armor would actually probably do more that is it is a fair point because although a quick blade would be good melee wise it's not actually going to be better it's just going to be long term better it's not going to be right now whereas armor could be good for like immediate benefit and the rest of the game as opposed to just eventually for the rest of the game lightly for the weapon well I guess if that's the case we'll go ahead and do weapon oh oh my god this is all lightly's fault wouldn't have happened if he hadn't voted for weapon and now I'm stuck with a glowing rapier actually gonna ID it because I'm petrified that it's gonna be well, okay, so if you're going to get a melee weapon that's a rapier, that's a good one. Rapier of Alec is actually a weapon you could use most of the game. It's not as good as a quick blade, but it's, uh... I mean, you would probably really want to switch to a long blade if you could, truthfully. But if you're going to stay with a short blade weapon, it is not the absolute worst. It's the highest damage, base damage, and it's a uh, fast... Um, it's, it's still got a fast delay, and it does have Electrin. It's an upgrade for melee, it's actually not an upgrade for stabbing though. Dagger is vastly superior for stabs. So we are going to stay with that and we'll switch to the... Oh boy. Can we get the stab? Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Look at these stabs, these stabs are real. This can't last forever though, one of these things is going to wake up. Um, now we go to our dodging. How much can he stab? Oh my gosh, stabbing is real. Stabbing is real. Oh wow, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good stabbing run. We didn't get it all, but we got two ugly things and a gargoyle and two gargoyles and... Oh, sh uh, oops. Oh, crap. Okay, well, um, I guess that, I just did that. That was a miskey. Now you're getting to see Heavenly Storm. Oh, but this is, uh, this is dangerous now. Now there's a Death Knight. That's unfortunate. Well, I can dig. He can hit me with agony, although I think oh, he's also got an Albert. That's um, I might be able to lunge him. Actually, yeah. Let's see if we can do some really fancy stuff. Serpent slash, boom. Boom. Uh. We've got 16 slang. Can I take this guy out? Ah, that's bad. Yeah. All right. Now he's uh he's sharing damage. All right. So we're going to dig. We got <clears throat> Okay. See, this fog is actually sort of semi counterproductive now because um, yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't hit me with that. So, what do we have damage wise? We just have to take it a little bit. Yeah, the dire flail, that's not good. Honestly, that dire flail is a little bit of a problem. I can use a blink scroll. That that would be sensible. I suppose I should use one. I don't like to waste it, but I'm a little bit fearful of transforming and then taking a massive hit because I do have... It's mostly the combination of this guy and this guy could potentially hit quite hard. So that's sort of unfortunate that they hit me. How much damage did I take? Death Knight. 
hits you but does no damage. It's a little bit risky. Ugh. All right, well, I'll be super cautious. Wow, dude. All right, let's got to get out of here. Sheesh. I was, uh, that vault just kept getting worse. I totally did not mean to use Heavenly Cloud, and what Heavenly Cloud does is make a ton of noise. Um, I was seeing if I could sort of just like go roll with it and use Serpent Slash, and we almost did, but it sort of semi-complicated things. What I wanted to do was, um, crap, I even forgot what I wanted to do now. I wanted to zap, did I want to zap a spell? I honestly don't even remember. I could do bat form. I can do bat form cursed. Cursed. You can use bat form when you're satiated. I could always use bat form. Although, um, I can probably be use, utilizing bat form more than I am, to be fair. Uh, so I guess we're just going to basically run. Yeah, run away from all this stuff. There's uh I'm gonna run this way. Alright, we're basically in the clear now. Nope, watch I'll show you. Well, this guy decided to uh This guy's been a nuisance for Alright, and transform. Anyway, yeah, I'm satiated right now and there you go. I can use bat form. Yeah, the cloud does slaying that increases as you do martial moves, so that's why it increased up to 16, and it obviously um, increases your, um, it gives you immediate fog, which is actually pretty handy. It's much more reliable than a, okay, now we got, all right, finally we got rid of that guy. That's good. Okay, so this Cyclops is nasty. Um, I kind of need him to... Uh, I don't really like the shout play. Oh yeah, we're going up. I'm not going to deal with both of you guys. We'll go clear this out, but we'll have to take this carefully. And um, what do we want to do? I am going to... Hmm. Yeah, if I do a lot of melee, some strength would actually be pretty nice. I'll go for Dex for now. It didn't actually give me anything. Oh wow, this guy, so... He went with Pay Mirror right away, even if I confused him. It's going to be a hassle. So we're going to... Oh, freaking jerk off. Whatever, man. That that guy has been a bastard this entire time. I guess I should have expected that, but... Making my life difficult, and I really don't appreciate it. Just need to kind of clear out an area. This vault, whatever this vault is, is a little bit nasty. So uh, here's another one. Got rid of him. Spatial translocations. This is a good book. lunge going on. Okay, so I really should be switching to the rapier. That little debacle was pretty funny. It's funny how the clouds were like so counterproductive to me. Well, it wasn't it the clouds were only counterproductive to blink, but 
I kept trying to set up like this easy escape that didn't use any consumables, but it just wasn't happening. <laughs>